y'all so I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Byzantine weave um also I've heard this called bird cage or king's mail but I mean there's a ton of different names for it but this is what it looks like so whatever you call it this is how I weave it <laughs> um now this one here the demonstration piece is woven out of bright aluminum in a 16 gauge 1 4 inch saw cut ring uh, there'll be a list of the tools and materials down in the video description below where you can purchase your own. Um, and right from the get-go, there is an option that right here, how there's two rings, like right here and right here, you could add in a third ring they, there, and a lot of folks call that trizantine. Um, so it'd be, you know, kind of three rings, but we're not going to really get into that too much today. Um, the way that... I usually set up my rings um, is what in what Randy and I call units so I'm going to start with um, what's it Randy eight open six closed what? for Byzantine six open four closed okay four. Six. Now, whenever we're stringing it all together, Randy does six open and four closed. Um, but I want to show you how to make a standalone unit of Byzantine, like this section right here. Um, that these are what I use quite a bit for like um, earrings or joining together with gemstone beads or different things like that. So we're going to do eight open. Um, and then I'm going to do four, no, six closed in this, um, right now I'm using black, uh, saw cut aluminum rings and I believe it's called hematite or black ice. I'm not certain, but they're from the ringlord.com. Let me see if I can't bring the camera down. Just a, there we go. Mm -hmm. So we want a nice clean closure on all of our rings. And here's ring number five. And here's ring number six. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put four of them on one ring and then I'm going to skip a ring and I'm going to put two on that one. And I'm going to pick up this black ring that has four, for just convenience sake I'm going to call them silver. Um, so one black open with four closed silver on there and I'm going to close it. And now I'm going to thread a second black ring through those same four rings and I'm going to close it. And now I'm going to separate it out to where there's two silver rings, two black, and then two silver. This right here in, in chain mail is like a 2-2 two -two chain, is what I typically hear it called. Again, there's so many different names for this stuff, you guys, and I don't really get into the, um, if you can call them conversations about, no, that's called this, and it's like, well, this is what it looks like. Um, and Randy and I call it a 2 tune because it's two rings attached to two rings attached to two rings. Um... So now I'm going to take this black open with two closed silver on it and I'm going to hook through these two closed silver. And I'm going to close it. And now I'm going to thread another black ring through these two silver and the two silver that we just added. And we could keep continuing in this manner and just make a very basic 2-2 two -two chain um, and that's still technically chain mail. I mean, that's how it starts. But what we're going to do is I'm going to grab it here by this center set of silver rings. You can see we have three sets of silver rings. I'm holding on to the center set and I'm going to butterfly, kind of splay apart these two rings like this. 
and let them fall to either side. Do you see how that happened? And now we can grab them and kind of push them up some. How I'm pushing up right here and right here with my fingers and then I'm going to rotate it and splay open these two black ones. I'm going to take an open black and I'm going to hook through those two silver. And now I'm going to close this. And I'm going to add another one. So I don't know why, but if I just add one ring to it, I feel like it looks dinky. <laughs> like, and so to do that same thing, we're going to repeat how that looks. See how it's kind of caging it like that? So I'm holding it by the center set, spreading them apart. Like, you don't want it to look like that. Well, it keeps falling the way it's supposed to be. Like, this right here, that's incorrect. You want it to be spread open and then kind of let them just fall down the sides and then rotate and open up these two rings I'm going to take a black ring and thread it to, through the two silver and I'm going to close it and I'm going to pick up another black ring and I'm going to close it it looks like I opened up one too many black rings but that's okay. Sometimes they'll get tangled around themselves, but this is basically Byzantine. Right there, that's a unit of Byzantine. And if I were stringing a chain of them together in this manner, you can kind of see where that lines up in the pattern. So now I am going to show you how to join multiple units together. And I'm going to set up two rows. That way we can kind of... Two... Three... Four... There's a mosquito in here. Go away, mosquito. I know I'm delicious, but please go away. And I'm going to close. One... Two, three, four. Now also if we were making this as a stretchy design, these rings that I'm closing would be the rings that I would replace with rubber. And you can do all sorts of different color combinations. Um, these look wicked cool done with square cut rings. Like they're the round rings, but the wire itself is square. Those look super cool. Um, I've also seen some where the center point, where it comes together, is actually um, like a round bead. Those are pretty neat too. So it's again, it's, I mean, just explore your own creativity and just see where it takes you. Oh, I started layering up too many on that one. So two more closed rings and then we can get to weaving. And I really enjoy kind of getting all of the uh, setup out of the way before I start weaving. That way, like, I don't know, to me we the weaving is the fun part. So. What I would do is, same as before, I'm going to make a section of 2 2 chain. So 
so just like this just connecting all those closed silver with the open black. I'm closing. So I'm going to set that down and I'm going to weave the next one. So the one open with four closed on it, I'm closing that open one, threading another open ring through those four and closing bringing it around, splaying them out so that it's two, 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 threading through another ring, closing it, repeating that ring that we just did, okay so now from here I'm going to take this open ring, picking up one of the units of two two chain, spreading these two silver just like that, then pushing them around and up so that this pattern in here is very important. It's not the same if you take it and do it like this, that's something else they're folded off to the sides and then pushed up so that the rings laying just like that so, and then spread those two black rings and then I'm just gonna hook through you want to make sure you're just hooking through those two you don't want to be hooked through you know like that through the black ring as well just through the two silver and now I'm gonna pick this side up this is where it can get a little fumbly I'm going to do this, that same splitting, and then I'm going to hook this black ring through right there, and close it. So now they're joined together like that. And I guess I am going to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of what that trizantine might look like. So I'm going to open up a silver ring, hook through these two silver, and these two silver, and then I'm going to close it. And then I'm going to pick up my other black and bring it through like this. And I don't even know if this is a true trizantine. You're just beefing up that little join there. Um, like I think the trizantine would actually have like a third. I don't know. It's I've seen a lot of different weaves be called trizantine. But whenever Randy and I are working, this is what we call it. But yeah, I think that makes such a nice little color contrast. It thickens it up a little bit. And then, um, I'm actually going to remove these two to pretend like it was a, uh, <laughs> adding another piece. So let's look, pretend like this one was a unit that we just started. So I'm going to splay the sides open on this one. Open up those black rings. And thread this black ring through and close it. And now I'm going to do another silver ring. Keep that motif going. Through there and there. And close it. And now I'm going to come through with that black ring. and close it. So that's how the Byzantine starts to come out. And now to get it to where it looks nice and completed, like this side over here, we would just come around, splay them open, bring them around to the sides, then open that up and just hook some black rings through. Now on the end here, this is where I would go ahead and add a clasp. Like if I were finishing this as a bracelet, what I would do is add just a couple of, um, a couple more rings. Because I usually make most of our bracelets to like a seven or a seven and a half, but give it like an inch of adjustment. Because some people might have a seven inch wrist, but really like baggy bracelets. Um, so I'd add a couple extra rings, 
And then on the far end, I would use a smaller ring to attach a little clasp and then they would hook together. So that is that and I hope that this was helpful to y'all. If you guys have any questions, comments, or ideas, please leave them down in the video, to, uh, well down below the video description. Um, if you enjoy my free tutorials and would like to support the creation of more of them, as well as participate in my monthly craft crates and my fairy house giveaways and all the different things like that, please check me out on Patreon. Again, there'll be a link down in the video description below. Also, if you'd like to share pictures of what you've made, um, check me out on social media. I'd love to see what you make, either, if, whether you're tagging me in it or sharing it to my Facebook wall or what have you. It, it really, it brightens my day to see what y'all are up to. So <laughs> thanks guys. I'll see y'all around. Bye. <laughs>